Hello everybody, it's Theresa here. I'm back to cut my uh, pure and simple cold process. So, um, if you didn't watch the making, it's attached to this video. It'll be up at the top, or maybe at the bottom of the screen, um, in a in an annotation. Um, it is this sub is scented with um, clean cotton fragrance oil from CandleScience.com. So let's cut into it. Now I did put this in the oven, but it it didn't gel, um, which is fine with me because I'm really not that big of a fan of gelled soaps. But it is still a little soft, so we're gonna have to kind of play this one. By ear uh, or feel I should say we're gonna cut off a little bit of the end see what we've got like I say it is a little soft so and this is what we've got on the first cut which is pretty much what I was going for just a very simple swirl so I'm very pleased with that. The white's nice. Um, I'm more than likely we'll have to plane the, I mean, I, I, I pl pretty much plane everything, but I'll probably have to plane these um, since they're so soft, definitely for sure. It's a little wobbly on the bottom, which doesn't make sense since I made this in my silicone mode. Usually, my silicone mode is pretty straight uh, all the way around. Let's give this one a cut. See what we have. It's a little sticky. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a little bubble there. hope that's focusing for you but that it's a very simple blue swirl right in the center and that's what I wanted I couldn't bring myself actually I wanted to turn that so that y'all can see so let's see can you see it there yeah uh, I couldn't bring myself just to do a plain white soap which uh, when I think clean cotton that's what I think like plain pure white um, cotton but I couldn't bring myself just to do a white plain white soap so I added a little bit of blue because this smells like really fresh and clean and I don't know it kind of reminds me of summer or spring or you know that type of clean scent so And if you uh, didn't watch the making, um, I'll tell you that what I did was, is I drop swirled in the blue and then I used a little skewer type dealio um, to swirl um, back and forth just right in the center. The, the drop swirl... Um, and the little skewer swirl was all just right dead center because I didn't want the swirls all the way through this soap I just wanted it in the middle so. I can actually say honestly for the first time this soap is pretty dead on for what I wanted it is a very Center, central swirl. Um, and the blue isn't too overpowering. It's not too bright. So, yeah. Um, I did want a really, really white soap. And I will say that this one's still a tinge more yellow than I had originally thought about. But I am using extra virgin olive oil. And my extra virgin olive oil tends to make my soaps a tad bit more yellow than normal so that's what I'm assuming uh, 
this is loose and I think it's causing my soaps to be a little uneven um, but it tends to make my my extra virgin olive oil tends to make my soap batter a little more yellow so um, uh oh it's a little more sticky on this end so I will definitely have to plane so that's why these aren't quite as white, but it's okay. It's stark white isn't necessary. I really like that swirl. But you can see there, um, it's stuck. <laughs> so, yeah. And I'm really pleased with this one. This one is awesome. I was going to call it um, my first thought for this soap. Was it reminded me of my grandma's clothes line, uh, the old fashioned type where you hang your clothes outside to dry. I know some people still do that, but that's what it reminded me of. So I was going to call it Granny's clothes line. But right at the last second, my husband was, my husband and I were looking at the photos. I was showing him what I did because I put it in the oven before I showed it to him. And he goes, it's kind of plain. I said, no, honey, it's pure and simple. And so that's how it got its name. If you have a soap with that name, I'm sorry. I didn't intend to steal your idea. It just kind of came about. That's how all my names kind of come about. This should be the last one so I will get six bars out of this one someone tells me but these bars are a little bigger because I think I usually get seven bars her but not this time my pure and simple cold process soap since it would clean uh, cotton from um, CandleScience.com. Thank you very much for watching. Happy soaping. Bye-bye.